is what we're going to be making today. They're really good. And they're one of my favorite ways to preserve eggs. Right now we're getting about 11 eggs a day. So we really need to put them up somehow. So I've been water glassing them, pickling them. Um, and I plan on doing salt cured egg yolks too, which I'm very excited about. Okay, y'all, I'll be right back. I forgot one thing when I... Hello, hunting and stuff. Good to see you. So this is what they look like. They make great snacks and they are refrigerator pickles. So they're not uh, safe to go on the shelf, but they're good in the refrigerator for up to three months. Generally, they don't last that long though, because they are very yummy. Um, the most important thing when you're making pickled eggs is the brine needs to be at least 50% vinegar. And that's what keeps it safe. The acidity uh, keeps the eggs safe in the refrigerator. Okay, so I'm gonna be using a quart jar today. And the first step is going to be to boil your eggs and I have the boiled eggs here and then we're going to be making our brine. Now, usually I would be doing this on the stove, but for the sake of today's purpose, we are going to be doing it right here on the dining room table. So I'm going to do about a cup and a half of filtered water. I'm just gonna eyeball it. And a cup and a half of distilled white vinegar. Make sure that your vinegar is 5% acidity. Um, I know that it was going around that they were lowering the acidity of vinegar for a little while, but just make sure that it is at least 5% acidity Again, it is the acidity that keeps these safe. So it's really important that you use at least 50%, 5% vinegar. <laughs> okay. So that's the base of it is going to be half water, half vinegar. And then you can use whatever aromatics you like. I'm going to put those directly into the jar right before we add the eggs. Um, I am gonna add turmeric right now and salt. So I'm gonna put one teaspoon of turmeric. This is a half a teaspoon, by the way. And one teaspoon of salt. Okay. We're gonna give this a stir and then we're gonna put it on the stove to boil. Okay, and then we're gonna peel my eggs together <laughs> and hopefully that goes smoothly. Thank you, Miss Sharon. All right, so I'm gonna bring this over to the stove And I'm going to bring y'all over to the sink. While I peel these eggs. Now, <laughs> sometimes it can be hit or miss with farm fresh eggs. I find that the blue ones tend to peel 
better. Um, these brown ones are about three days old. So the older an egg, the easier it is to peel. And I also put salt and baking soda in the water when I boil them. And that seems to help a little bit too. So let's just say a little prayer that these peel nicely. And let's start, hang on. I'm just gonna set them in a bowl on the side for now. How is everyone doing today? Did we all enjoy the eclipse yesterday? I found it really eerie and strange. But cool, a cool experience. Okay. So the ones that peel nicely, I'm gonna pickle. And then the ones that don't peel nicely, I'm just gonna stick in the refrigerator for snacks. So that was a blue one, peeled pretty nice. There's one little spot there. Yeah, Miss Sharon, it did drop. So we're in we're in the path of totality here in Texas, and it dropped in temperature quite a bit. I'd say a good five degrees, and it got dark, like nighttime dark. It was crazy, but it was cloudy. We didn't actually get to see like the corona or anything like that. It was pretty overcast, but it was weird. Everything got really still and quiet. So that one, I'm gonna put in the fridge to snack on. We're not gonna pickle that one. Yes, store-bought eggs do peel much easier and they are really old. Hi, Dan, good to see you. Yes, we have two Easter egg or chickens. And these are actually our biggest eggs, these blue ones. So they peel nicely most of the time. Sometimes they don't, however. This one is gonna give me trouble. So, that one will go in the fridge. some brown ones. So for anyone just coming in, we're pickling eggs. And pickling eggs is really simple. These are not, however, shelf stable. They are refrigerator pickles. And the most important thing is that you use 50% vinegar in the brine and you can use whatever aromatics you want. Um, I have a new recipe that I wanna try, a garden herb, pickled eggs with lemon and thyme and garlic. But today we're gonna to be doing turmeric and dill and cracked black pepper.
Yeah, Suzanne, I wanted to go live. I was going to go live, uh, but it was one too cloudy, and then I couldn't get my camera to sync up with my phone. So it was just, it was frustrating. So I decided to just not. Which, I mean, that allowed me to really experience it too. And my kids, it was awesome for them. So these brown ones are peeling really nicely. And again, these have been sitting on my counter at room temperature for about three to four days. And generally I don't wash my eggs. I leave them with the bloom intact unless they're really dirty. Then I will wash them and try to use them right away uh, because the bloom preserves them naturally for upwards of a month at room temperature. And I also find that using a little bit of water helps to peel them too. Hello, Dave Knight, good to see you. I'm trying to keep up with the chat. I don't know who said that. Was that Joe that had a spicy dill pickled egg? That sounds really yummy. We might do that. I'm also gonna be putting a little bit of mustard seeds. I find that the mustard seeds can be really overpowering. So in the past when I put mustard seeds, I put way too much. Um, so we're going to add just a little bit, like maybe a half a teaspoon. Mm, yeah, rosemary. Yeah. I have, let's see, I have rosemary, thyme, oregano. I would like to put basil, but my basil plants are just really struggling this year. We've had an incredibly cool spring here in Texas. Normally it's almost 100 degrees by now, but all of April has been pretty chilly. So my basil is suffering because of that, I believe. <laughs> the chat is upside down, so I'm reading it upside down. <laughs> am I upside down? I am upside down, aren't I? Is there a way to fix that? Look how big that egg is. I wonder, you could probably just throw some like fresh jalapenos in or other spicy peppers. Jalapenos are about as spicy as I like to go. Um, I think I have some like dried Tabasco peppers that we could put in. But even the, the mustard seeds are a little bit spicy. My family really doesn't like them too spicy. So when I'm pickling eggs, if it tears through to the yolk, I really don't like to pickle them like that. But that, sometimes I would just add that in if I don't have enough eggs to fill a quart jar. Yeah, cayenne pepper. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> upside down egg peeling. It's raining today in Texas. My part of Texas. Mm. 
Okay, so the brine is boiling. I'm gonna go ahead and put that just on a simmer so that it stays hot and I'll be right back. So yeah, we're getting about 11 eggs a day right now. We have 13 hens and we're getting about 11 a day. So we've been eating a lot of eggs, pickling a lot of eggs and water glassing a lot of eggs. We've been giving a lot of eggs away. <laughs> okay. So this I'm just gonna toss back out to the chickens and they'll like that. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, and then we're gonna go back to the table for the next part. I can't figure out the rotation, it's kind of frustrating me. Okay, I'm actually gonna chop an onion really quick. So we're gonna put about just a little bit of onion, maybe a quarter of an onion. Okay, there we go, I can see chat now. Yeah, where are you again, Miss Sharon? had a really wet and cold spring which most of the garden has really liked except the basil the peppers upstate South Carolina okay yes you may hang on there you go this one's kind of rough I know don't. I'm gonna pick all the nice ones okay take the rough one Okay, here, have this one. Ooh, this one's pretty smooth. Okay. All right, so now we are going to put the aromatics in first. So I'm using onion. Uh, normally I would put some fresh garlic in. I don't have fresh garlic right now, so we're not going to put fresh garlic. But we are going to put... Fresh onion, some dill that I just got from the garden today. Um, I love to put the dill flowers if I have them. This is my first dill flower. Let's see, is it in the first dill flower of the season? And I like to kind of lay these up the side. Oh, what did I do? Sorry, Joe, I didn't mean to. <laughs> oh, <laughs> how do I unhide you? Unhide, okay. Okay, there we go. Sorry, Joe, that was an accident. Okay, so 
I like to put the dill around the sides of the jar. Just like that. Okay. And then we're going to drop the pretty eggs in. Just like that. Okay, and then we're gonna pour our brine over. And I'm actually going to add a few more things to the brine, okay? I'm gonna add some garlic powder since I'm out of fresh garlic. And I'm also going to add a fourth of a cup of granulated sugar or maybe less, maybe like, I don't know, two tablespoons of granulated sugar. This will make them sweet. It will just kinda, just a hint, a hint of sweetness so that they're not so vinegary. And we're gonna stir those really good. I wish I could figure out how to make it not vertical. <laughs> Sorry, Joe, I accidentally hid you for just a second. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna stir this up. Okay, and then we're gonna pour the brine over the eggs while it's hot. And I'm gonna fill it all the way to the top just to make sure that the eggs are fully submerged. And if one of the eggs, the egg on top, isn't fully submerged, you wanna just eat that one as, as quick as possible, see. Okay, and then I'm gonna use just a used lid that I've washed really well. Okay, and then you wanna let this cool all the way to room temperature and then store it in the fridge. And you want to let it sit for about a week before you start eating them, just so that the flavor starts to develop. And they'll stay good for about three months in the fridge. Now, generally they don't last that long because they're really good. They're a nice high protein, easy snack. 
All right. So, did I show you guys the beets, the beet ones? So these are some that I made using this brine and I did add more vinegar to it. It does have some vinegar, but I don't know how much. So when we're done eating these, I'll just save the brine and then add, I think I added garlic, maybe a little bit of cinnamon to these ones. And they are really pretty. And they're super pretty. <laughs> All right, and that's it. That's how you make pickled eggs. They're one of my favorite ways to preserve eggs. If you have chickens um, in the spring, a lot of times you can get overwhelmed with the amount of eggs that you're getting. And so this is one of my favorite ways to preserve eggs. Yeah, you can do that too, Suzanne. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So you'll find pickled eggs in bars a lot. All right. Well, that's it. That's how you pickled eggs, pickle eggs. Thank you guys for coming by. It's my first live stream. And I think that I plan on going live a little bit more. Uh, don't forget to hit the like on your way out. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Share if you found this valuable. And that's all. That's all, folks. Everyone have a great day. I don't know how to end it, though. <laughs> okay, let's see. Excellent. Are you sure? See y'all.